G'day everyone, Ollie here. Welcome to another Promo Pursuit mission. We're out here in beautiful New Zealand chasing kingfish. I've got a couple of guys over from Aussie and um, I've taken them out to try and get them their first kingies and I've come to the right spot. It is going off. We just have bait everywhere. Here's the boys. One, two. The surface is just alive. There's patches of bait fish getting balled up everywhere. Birds, it's it's awesome. We've got clean blue water, trevally, blue mamau, koheru, kahawai, you name it, it's all underwater. The boys are seeing some kingies already below chasing bait, so yeah, we're, we're gonna get into some kingies, no doubt. Unreal scenes. Look at the surface, it is just boiling up. <laughs> live for stuff like this, this is awesome, so yeah, we're going to get into it and get some shafts into some greenbacks. Absolute scenes, the place was alive, you can see the surface here just boiling up with hundreds, thousands of fish. I put the GoPro under the boat to have a look around. Just teeming with trevally, blue mau mau, koheru, kahawai, you name it, it was very very fishy and nice and clean. Coming for us, boys! Woo! Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 go, 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 slowly, slowly. Woo! Magic. All mature, big trevally. Absolutely incredible scenes. The water was full of krill, and that's why there were so many fish coming to feast. It was a Frenzy. Unbelievable. It was clear that the kingies were holding under the bait schools. You can see them busting up the bait on the surface in the background here. So it was just a matter of chasing around these bait schools on the surface and getting underneath them. Boys are in the water. They've spotted a few kingies already. So what we're doing, we're just chasing the bait schools, jumping in on them diving underneath and uh, hoping to find a king. Everywhere you look it's just going off. Mental. Maybe we'll try closer into the rocks bro. A bit more structure. Yeah, yeah why not? It is what it is bro. I'll drop you right in that corner. He's, see he's seen another one. Fuck you if he's a real good big size. Must have kingy on. Nice jumping with him bro. Go for a second shot mate. Yeah. Let's pull him up. Let's pull him up, here we are. Famous last words. Diving in. I could see almost straight away that this kingfish was just hanging on by a little bit of skin on its stomach. With the second shot missing, I had to dive in quickly and try and finish the job. The kingfish was hanging on by a thread and I needed that second shot to get in there. Unfortunately I take a poor shot and miss at the same time kingfish ripping free. Really unfortunate. It was all ripped out of his guts bro. Unlucky. Sorry bro, he just pulled at the last second. Very unfortunate, no one likes injuring fish. Hopefully the kingy survived, they are very resilient fish. Onwards we went, running around chasing these workups. You can see the surface alive here. Get close, drift in, jump overboard. We'd been chasing these kingfish for a few hours now. A few missed shots, one fish ripping off. It wasn't really going our way. Decided it was my turn to jump in after being boatman for a few hours. It was just amazing scenes. You don't get days like this very often. So fishy, clean, water was fairly warm. Awesome scenes. Dive down here into the bait schools. I'm rattling my gun, just making a bit of noise. 
I know these kingfish are somewhere, so I'm just trying to entice them in. With the kingfish actively feeding on these bait schools, as soon as you drift away from these fish too far, the whole place goes dead. You need to stay on these bait schools, so back in the IRB, chase them down again, hopping back in and hoping for the best. Regardless of finding kingfish, the abundance of fish here was just phenomenal. All really good eating fish, kahawai, trevally, koheru, really nice, nice fish so we were never going to go hungry. But we were here to hunt kingfish and we were going to get one. You can see here the krill, thick, the fish just feeding hard, spectacular. Same ones, man. Yeah, that's those same big. Awesome. I saw two swimming straight at me. What's going on? Oh, cool, man. Good to see them. They're there. Look at them, just busting all the bait, man. They're feeding hard. Stay there. Yep. Yeah. We weren't going to give up too easily, we knew the kingfish were here, it was a matter of just getting timing right and getting a school to swim underneath us. All one fish, that's all we wanted. Huge schools of bait, everywhere. We knew they'd be close, we knew we'd get another chance. I couldn't resist, saw a nice trevally and took a shot, jumped on the boat, and that was a uh, Snack for dinner, yeah, sorted. Nice oh, beautiful. Yeah. This is getting hit. This bait is getting smashed up by kingfish. And they're moving so fast. Looks down. I wonder if he's got something. No. Magic. This is just unreal scenes. That is just so many fish. Magic spot. Luke had just been in a snowboarding accident and busted up his elbow a few days prior. He'd cut the cast off that morning but was unable to load his gun so helped him out there. All good. I jumped in on this big boil up of fish and they were acting a bit more erratic than normal, all heading in the same direction frantically. Just as they were about to all pass I dove down thinking surely there must be some fish down there. I get down to about 10 meters and just chill there, make a few noises, a few grunts and then I catch some kingfish out of the corner of my eye and they are big. I go towards them. They don't like it and they just keep swimming in that direction so I need to change my plan. I head in the alternate direction, rattle my gun, I'm grunting, trying to lure them back around and sure enough here they come. Fish turn broadside and I get an awesome shot off. 
You can see the girth in the heads here. They are big fish. At first I thought I'd stoned the fish. It did the backwards flip. I thought this was going to be an easy kill. Get to the surface, get some air, and looking back down, the fish has found some energy and is kicked into life. These fish are amazing, even with a big hunk of steel right through its body, nicking that spine. They have just so much power. The fish barrels off into the depths. Fights on. The fish has a lot of power in it. It's a heavy fish. I'm just trying to keep it here off the reef. If that fish gets into the reef, tucks behind a rock, there's a chance of it busting off. I'm just on a little spear gun here with mono as a shooting line. Usually I run Dyneema, but in this case I've got mono. A lot more susceptible to getting cut on a reef. Really don't want to lose this fish. It's a big fish, clearly my PB, and I don't want an injured fish at that. boys are off doing their own thing, it's all a bit chaotic. I have the line from the boat tucked under my elbow, I'm holding onto the IRB, I've got the gun in my legs floating around, I'm trying to pull the fish up with one arm. <laughs> it's a bit messy, but it's all good, it's all under control. I've got this fish, I'm gaining line, I reckon I've got it. Every now and then, the fish would have a burst of energy and barrel off into the depths. It had so much weight, I just couldn't stop it and I'd have to let it run. But ever so slowly, I was making ground on this fish and pulling it up towards the surface. Trying to be as careful as I can here with line management. There's real line everywhere, so making sure it's not caught on my leg or anywhere dangerous. If the fish did find some power and head back down at the depths, I don't want to get dragged under. So I'm being very careful. Fast forward five minutes, and slowly I'm getting closer to this fish. I'm almost at the shooting line here, so that's a couple of metres left. The fish looks totally cooked, out of energy. It's time to bring this thing in. Brian, can you hold the boat, please? Just trying to get this kingfish into the best position possible, bear hug my legs around its tail, and get my hands into the gill plate. This is a monster! <sighs> Once you're in this position, generally the fight's over. I get my hands in the gills, and I can't believe the size of this fish. It is huge, a lot bigger than I thought it was. It is a barrel. I don't know how many of these cheap blue knives I've broken off in kingfish heads, but uh, I might have to upgrade. Holy shit, oh, this is a horse. While this kingfish looks pretty much dead, it's somewhat paralysed from my spine shot, so I need to put it out of its misery. That's a PD, bro. Bro. There was five of them, bro. Bro, bro. Let me get some port. Thank you. Um. Fucking hell, man. That is a beast. No, 
know this is going to be a 30 kg. It's fat, eh? I didn't think it was this big. Oh my god, congratulations. Bro! What the f? I don't know, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got to get this on board. Fuck. Whoa! Holy shit! I have to stay behind Luke, so. <laughs> that is fat! <laughs> Oh, there was three or four, I don't know, maybe even five. Oh. That is fat. Good job. Oh, guys, that was really unexpected. I mean, the size of a fish anyways. There was kingies all around. Boys missed one shot on one. Unfortunately, the other one ripped off. But yeah, this, just, it, the place, this place is going off. You've seen the footage, all the fish. So yeah, I couldn't resist. I was being boatman, but I had to jump in myself. Swam down up and down a few times and then the school of just five four five stonking kingfish just came rolling in um, as you see in that footage I went for them trying to take the shot I didn't think they were that big thought they could pretty pretty good fish maybe 15 kilo they were swimming away so I turned away went the other direction just rattled the gun made some noise a few grunts and they just came like clockwork as kingfish do they just came back in came straight towards me and uh, did the classic broadside and I just took one. They all looked about the same size. Check this thing out. It's got to be my biggest kingfish to date. <laughs> it's um... <laughs> yeah, it's got to be at least 30 kegs. It's huge. <laughs> um, yeah, couldn't be more stoked. So I'll have to get this back later and get it away. But um... Yeah, boys. Oh, hectic. Look at the girth of this. Girth of this kingy. His stomach is just so bloody fat. He or she, I'm not sure. Got it into the bag. I'm pretty sure this is a 1.2 meter bag and it's um, <laughs> barely fitting in there. I'll oh, just get him in there. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Gonna have to weigh it once I get back to land. I'm gonna say over 30 easy, maybe 35, so it'll be interesting. Alright boys, <laughs> <laughs> get back in the water. <laughs> We've got kings to shoot. Nah, it's um, early days, 9am, we've got another hour of incoming tide, so um, plenty of time to push. Birds are just going mental. Place is alive, we've got clean water, so um, yeah, pretty pretty special day out. We'll get back in there and um, get these boys a king. They've come over all the way from Aussie to get a kingy so um, we're not gonna give up too easy. <laughs> I reckon they're coming back. Yeah they're coming right for you bro, just stay real calm. Got this big school of fish just right in front of us. Just all breaking the surface. Jordan's just easing towards them. Can be quite tricky chasing these workups. You just get on them, make a dive and all the fish just scatter. Um, but you get lucky and they they chill out a bit and then you get real lucky once the kingies swim and they swim below so we'll get on to some fish really mint day no wind bugger all swell the sun's trying to peek through the clouds so all good and we've just got this incredible coastline which goes as far as i can see um after some king action we might we might put in close and see if we can uh, hunt some snapper or hunt for some craze all good once we hit the full slack tide, everything went quiet, action died down, no kingies were showing up, so we decided to head inshore and try for some snapper for a while, and wait for that current to change and the tide to start pushing back out. Well, I've just parked up a nice little bay and um, yeah, we're going to try for some snapper, maybe a pack horse lobster. Here yeah, there's a few along this bit of coast potentially. We're pretty buggered, it's been a full on morning. Hard to resist coastline like this, so in we go.
we had a bit of a swim along this piece of coast. Some alright terrain here, nice cracks and boulders. Possible locations to find a crayfish or a lobster. No luck here though. Nice clean water, but not much going on. A huge school of paroa here. In the middle there was a, a bluefish. Quite a rarity on the mainland, a species that has dwindled in numbers over the years. There's not that many around, so I didn't take it, let it go. Pretty cool to see though. Some nice ledges around. Here's me and Julian just peeking over, trying to ambush a sleeping snapper in this gutter. Nice looking spot, but no, no fish this time. Snapper just here, anyways. It's a bit quiet. Yeah. There he is, here, Becky. Yeah. Go chase those keys. Yeah. I've just dropped the boys on another workup. Keys stranded underneath, but uh, they're bolting fast. It's a matter of just playing, playing catch up with that ever moving bait. Look at this. It's just going off. Awesome. <laughs> with such incredible conditions and fish life, I can't resist getting back in the water. So jump in one last time, just to try and get some footage of some kingfish. Big school of trevally there. Lots of koheru here. Big fat koheru. Surely there must be a kingfish nearby. Just as I surface, I look back down and a kingfish had followed me right to the surface. I dive down and notice this fish isn't alone. There's good three to four kingfish just buzzing around here chasing the koheru. I've already shot a kingfish, so I'm not going to take another one. Very placid, very inquisitive. Unfortunately, the boys didn't get another shot at a kingfish. They were all too busy hanging out with me, but all good. We had a blast of a day and uh, memorable fish on board, so awesome. beach and um, water morning we had out there we had plenty of shots at kingies a um, couple of missed ones unfortunately for the boys but um, did manage this big fish and yeah it's a big king by far my um, biggest kingie today that's a beast it's must be about 1.2 long, but the girth on it, it is just <laughs> enormous. Um, yeah, so gonna get it in soon and, and try and weigh it. All right, guys, we're gonna go weigh the kingfish. It is a nice fish. <laughs> not super long, but it's a barrel. You're a member of the sorting club. If it goes over 30, you can get a pin fish for that. I'm but not, unfortunately. What's a pin? On a 30. You're going to have to go to three kings to be there, I think. See any other things down here? Ah, uh, there was one small marker. Daddy's awesome, sure. Not bad, isn't it, eh? Lovely big fat fish. Yeah. Good fat. Yeah. Oh, the long time, yeah. 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 yeah they're fat. Spear it, or did you catch yeah, it? Yeah, spear it. There's about five of them, all exactly the same size.
Well guys, fish all weighed in, just under 38 kilograms, so absolutely stoked. I've been wanting to get that kingfish over the 30 kilogram mark for a couple of years now, and to well and truly beat it was pretty awesome. Almost got the 40 kilo mark, but hey, um, that's nice to have another goal, another another fish to look forward to. So yeah, see what the summer brings. The fish is so big, I can't even close this fish bag properly. I'm gonna quickly gut the fish, get all that out. Um, I might even have to hack that tail off. Then we can fill that bag properly with ice, get it really chilled and cooled down. I was gonna do a two day dive trip. I was supposed to be diving tomorrow, but hey, I've got so much fish from this kingfish. I think it's better to go respect this fish, look after it, get it properly iced, cut up or smoked or everything share it around family and friends so yeah we'll get on the road and get home let's get this chopped up got my knives it's going to be quite interesting to see what this fish has been eating there's a the stomach let's see what's in here Not sure what that is, it stinks. That's all pretty decomposed in here, pretty nasty. <laughs> Nothing too exciting there guys, just rotten fish so I'll get this uh, fish cleaned up and touch base soon. Here's Kingy, all nicely gutted, get that on ice now. There's the tail, chop that off, it's a beast. <sighs> G'day guys, back home. I've had this kingfish chilling in the, the chiller for almost two days now, so it's gonna be really nicely set, nice and cooled down. Big fish, a lot of heat. Takes a while to get cool right through to the middle, so yeah, let's chop it up and uh, see what we can make this into. Here's the beast. Let's get this fish up here. <laughs> Give her a quick measure, eh? See how long this fish is. Got our tail, piece it together. Oops, have a look. Tail's there, from the end of the tail. One point four meters long, and just shy of thirty-eight kilos. Um, yeah, pretty awesome fish. All right, let's um, choose a knife. I might actually go with this big boy. We're just gonna get the fillets off, smoke most of it, but we will keep the loin, this top half here. It's an excellent big long tubular piece of meat and it's excellent for sashimi. Let's rip into it. On the angle, try and get all this meat up by the head here. Look at that belly fat, it's in very good condition. By the head. Wow, look at that fat in there. Already I can see it's just in primo condition. Make our way down. Just on that side of the spine there. It's just gonna slide right up basically. Alright. Oh look at that. <laughs> That's a big loin. Awesome. Beautiful quality flesh. Boom. Nice and that cavity, it's good. Right, now we have this big, big fillet. Whew, 
all right not much left on that frame i'll probably just get a spoon in there and just scoop up all these last bits that's excellent eating sashimi mm, yum there we go right and then we have this big wing and you can just see all that beautiful fat content in the flesh this is some of the best eating of the of the fish this goes for most species so we'll butterfly that open We're gonna either smoke that or even just oven bake is really good decide what i'm gonna do with this head potentially going to taxidermy it because it's a beast yeah we'll see cheers mate so we've got our big top loin here when these are set real well it's kind of two parts to it you can almost see the separation there you can run your hand along and just separate that you end up with these nice big loins anywhere close to the tail um, these ends it's a bit more tougher and stringy you know that's where the tail's making all that movement uh, we'll smoke that just going to cut this into big hunks look at that flesh heaps of fat content in it stunning we will skin that will just cut some of this bloodline off Look at that fat, almost just want to leave that on. But we don't want this blood. Right, all cut up, shit ton of meat. Got all the loins here, so that's just primo for sashimi, my favorite. Look at all that fat in there, stunning. Um, steaks, whatever. We've got the belly pieces, again, just so fat. It's just gonna be stunning, fried up. All the rest, got this bucket, just filled up with chunks of kingi, all the rest of the old bits. We'll uh, brine that overnight, just brown sugar and salt. Have a smoke up tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Right, there we go looking delicious so we're just going to let that kind of air out a bit tack off before we get in the smoker so those are two big full oven racks and the three to one three sugar to one salt mixture and we've got the two huge big kingfish wings here yeah the rest is being given out to family and friends fresh so absolutely nothing going to waste can't wait to smoke this up yeah it's been beautiful eating so far had beautiful sashimi last night stunning fish this size they still taste exactly the same in my opinion they're beautiful so yeah stay tuned we'll um get this in the smoker soon all right guys got the uh bradley smoker here just bro this off a mate so if yeah first time using one of these digital smokers looks pretty foolproof we'll, we'll see how we go first time so i'm just going to set it at 66 degrees celsius it's about 150 fahrenheit yeah just a nice low temperature aiming probably for four to five hours smoke something like that we'll see how we go waiting for that to heat up i've got the fish here just just airing out in the wind just trying to get that fish to tack off a little bit doing a bit of reading online while that's heating up i think i'll raise that temperature to about 70 75 uh, degrees we'll just see how we go can't go too wrong with smoking have a play around here we've got our trays all ready to go. Six Bradley trays. There's these huge wings. Sweet as. All right, guys. We've had the uh, smoker smoking for about an hour and a half now. So we'll just go and have a quick check up, see how this fish is getting on, eh? Nice smoke coming out the top, bit of airflow. All right. Beauty. Already getting a slight bit of colour there. Looking good. All right, guys, I reckon that's going to be done. <sighs> that's looking pretty tasty. Awesome. Look at that.
beautiful yeah well there we have it finished product a whole ton of beautifully smoked kingfish the wings are going to be stunning full of fat awesome well guys hope you liked that episode pretty special fish for me personal best kingfish didn't quite crack that 40 kilo mark but that's awesome that leaves me something to chase for the years ahead and yeah just stoked beautiful eating i've had it raw steaks now i've got some smoke fish i've shared it around with heaps of people pretty awesome yeah just what a what a wicked experience quite unexpected I'm gonna have a feast of the smoke fish for dinner yeah all i can say is hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching primalpursuit.co.nz to support my channel leave a comment hit the like button subscribe if you enjoy it and you want to see more all that stuff yep see you next time cheers guys